YouTube, sorry I haven't made any videos lately. I've just been really busy with work and we got slammed after the holidays, so I really haven't had any time to really do anything at all, let alone make videos. But I do have some free time now, so I'm gonna show you something very unique and very special. Um, I got this about six months ago, um, more or less, and um, it is something very unique and most people have never seen one of these before. Um, it is a Nintendo product, but it's definitely one of the rarest and definitely one of the most unique Nintendo products that was ever produced. Um, it was out for a very short time, and unless you're very into Nintendo's history, you probably didn't even know that these existed in the first place. So without further ado, let me introduce you to the Sharp 19SC111 Nintendo Television. Uh, so a little history on these units. Um, Sharp and Nintendo have always had a history together. Sharp actually did make the Sharp Twin Famicom, which was pretty much a Famicom and disc system rolled into one. And they also did make a series of televisions with Famicoms built into them called the C1 series, which were only made in Japan. They came in red and also in black. Um, they did moderately well, so Sharp and Nintendo decided to release an American version. It was called the 19SV111. Um, they were released in November of 1989 and were such a success. They were actually pulled off the market in January of 1990, so they were only out on the market for three months. Yeah, um, there were a couple reasons why that was. Um, first of all, these were kind of hard to find. They were only available in two retail chains, Kmart and in Sears, so they weren't really out there to find. And they were ridiculously expensive. These cost about $1,500 to $1,600 back then. I don't know what the conversion would be nowadays, but it would be considerably more. Um, but you could have bought any 19-inch television and an NES separately, and it would have been considerably cheaper than this thing. Um, but besides that, it does have some plus points. Um, Nintendo and Sharp actually shipped these to um, game, like, uh, game magazine reviewers, and um, the reason was this actually has one of the best screens to show off the Nintendo NES, and uh, so they usually gave these for reviews because it really made the colors pop, and it really was incredibly sharp for their, um, the image quality. So these had great pictures. Um, but besides that, um, the unit is a complete failure and a complete mess. The SVs were only they were pulled off after three months, but there was also another version of it, which is this particular model. It's called the 19SC111. The SC111s were slightly um, more streamlined in the, in the design. They had, kind of had more of a smoother look to them than the SVs, um, all, but there were only 200 of the SCs ever produced ever and uh, they were only they were not sold in stores they were only given to uh, retailers to show off the NES games but once the NES was um, pulled off the market uh, usually these were trashed so if I had to guess there's probably only about like 40 or 50 of these left in the world um, so extremely extremely rare um, so a little details on the um, the unit um, these peep parts on the unit are very rare. Um, they usually were broken off. This is the, uh, the main door, which had the, um, let me get my light out, had the, the volume and channel control with the uh, picture tint, color, and brightness knobs right here as well. The power button is right here, and also the uh, sensor for the remote control, which I don't have, and it's a very rare piece. Um, right below that is the um, the two NES controller ports, um, one and two, and th this door right here that says game. So you press that open, and if you can see that, there's the um, NES deck. So I got a game right here, Star Wars. Just pop it in, and it would go like that. So works pretty good. And it actually has two, the interesting thing, it actually has two power buttons. It has a power button for the TV itself, and it also has a power button right here for um, on and off for the game, for the uh, NES itself. So it's got the on and off here, and then the reset button right over here. Um, but this is one of the most bizarre looking uh, televisions I've ever seen. Well, I'll get to these little feet in a minute. But if I turn it to the side, 
Well, first of all, this thing weighs probably close 60 to 70 pounds. So this thing is ridiculously heavy, but it's this weird rectangle with this huge bulb on the back, which looks ridiculous. And that gets me to the reason these feet. Um, they look stupid, um, but um, they actually keep this thing balanced. Um, usually when you find these things, usually the feet are all broken off or at least one or two of them are broken off. This is a very rare one that actually all four of the feet are still on. These are just like thin plastic, so these snap off really easily. And But this one is in mint condition. None of the feet have ever broken off, so this is extremely, extremely rare to find one in this condition. I'm not saying that the rest of the unit's in great shape, but um, it's got this weird bend on it. I don't know how, how the hell that this would have happened, so I don't know what's up with this. And it's got a couple of these weird scratches on the top, but um, I don't know if that could be restored or something like that. It's got like no inputs. Um, I'll show you those. Let me switch to better view. So it's got the VHF and UHF um, inputs. That's it. It's got the, the hardwired power cord. And right down here it says Nintendo 1986. Very special. I need to do some dusting on this thing. This thing's a mess. But these units. If you can find one in this condition, I've seen go from around $600 to around $1,200 on eBay. So these are very rare and very sought after. So I am very thrilled to have it, and um, this is definitely a piece in the Nintendo history. Thank you for watching.